Hey everybody, Ronaldo Wofferman with CompuShow Video Manuals. Today I want to talk to you about virtual selectors. It's a great feature and you may have seen this when you're poking around in some of the newer CompuShow updates, not knowing what it is. I'm going to show you just a quick demo of what it can do. It's absolutely incredible. So let me tell you my scenario right now. This is my page that I use for all my floods. I put them all in the master page and I just have some very basic color flood swaps. So we have for example purple, red, and pink, then I have it in a solid, and then the F stands for fade. So if I click on here, it would go from red to blue. If I click on this, it would fade from red to blue. I wanted to just assign all of them to the buttons right here. The problem is I have the first row, one through six being used. So I have seven through 32 free, but there's more than 32 buttons in here alone. So that'd be kind of difficult. So then I thought, okay, you know what? I'm gonna make this the solid colors and then I'm just gonna go back because I already have stuff assigned to page 2 see how it recalls my InnoSpot Pros so I'm just gonna bring it to page 16 and page 16 will control fades but I already have my strobes and a couple other things assigned to page 16 it also recalls some things from Media Master Express so that exactly wouldn't be the best idea so how could I do this well looking back I thought man wouldn't it be cool if CompuShow had a shift button where I can say if shift then this button does this else it would do this right well virtual selector allows you to do that in short virtual selector allows you to assign a button to do multiple things when another button triggers another function of it so let's go ahead and set this up so you can see what's going on I'm gonna use button 7 and 8 and I'm gonna have 7 I'm gonna go into my general tabs so I just right clicked on 7 to open up my options there's nothing on live we're gonna to go to general we're gonna open up the little star and we are going to choose virtual selector now here we're gonna click this button and we're gonna cl click uh, new and I've already made one here and it's called solid one fate two it's just the name to remind me that my solids are going to have the number one assigned to it fade is gonna have a number assigned over here we call it state okay so solid fade one we're going to assign number seven to be solid, basically ID4, state one. I'm just going to click OK. Don't need to worry about anything else. I'm going to leave this alone, okay? And we're good there. Now I'm going to click here. Now I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to go to others, virtual selector, and we're going to do the solid fade that I just made, ID4, state number two. Now when you look at it, it says state one. And then if I go back to the 7, it states it says state 0. Simply because 1 is 0, 2 is 1, 3 is 2. Okay, I know it's a little confusing, but hopefully you'll get what I mean. So again, state 0, state 1, basically 1 and 2 are selected. Now let's go ahead and now we're going to map, like for example, number 9 is mapped to this one here already. So I'm just going to do the red and blue as an example for number 10. So right now there's nothing there, which is good. It's empty, so I'm going to right click. And we're going to do button activation, 10. Done. Okay. We're going to close that for a second. And now we're going to do the fade again. And we're going to do button activation, 10. Done. Now what happens is, of course, if I push 10, this is going to select the most recent one. It's not going to select either or. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the first one, which is a solid. And see where it says virtual selector name and state? We're going to select the name, solid one, fade two, that I made, or ID four, and state one, because one is for my solid colors, two is for the fades that I made. So there we go. This one is going to be the solid one, fade two, and we're going to do state two. Now watch what happens. Okay, so now I'm going to select 7. Remember 7 that I assigned on state 1, which I assigned to the solid color, right? So when I push number 10, it activates my blue and red one. When I go to 9, it's the one that I pre-programmed, which is the red, yellow, red, pink, and purple. But now I'm going to select 8, which I assigned to do the fades. And now you'll see that it does the fade. That's why I made the F on them. 7 back on again. Now this is absolutely amazing because it's going to allow you to do this for anything, okay? So for example, I have my wheels here, right? If you ever wanted to make 
your wheels control individual things. Maybe you need to have more than three functions on a standard MIDI con, okay? Maybe you wanted to control your speed, phase, and strobe, okay? Well, I can have this be the virtual selector to control my speed, phase, and strobe. Now when I push on my second button here, I can have that control my RGB values. Now I can control over here and I can have it control my pan and tilt. It, the limits of what this can do are pretty much through the roof. I mean, th this is completely limitless. It opens up a whole new realm of poss possibility with programming, especially live programming using CompuShow. Really thrilled about it. Excited to show you, you know, what, what you can do with it. And going back on that, this means that if you want to do RGB and then white, amber, and UV, you can now do that. So basically, you can assign not just these buttons. Maybe you want to use these buttons. You can do that as well. Again, really, really cool functions. And I can't wait for my, my MIDICOM Pro to come in because that's going to open up even more options of what I can do with the motorized faders. So again, that is the new Virtual Selectors. Make sure you guys grab the latest version of CompuShow from the Elation website. Thank you guys so much. Good night. And God bless. <laughs>